Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I did make a guide on this game in 2020 for Yuzu, but Yuzu emulator is dead because of that guy. Okay, well not Mario, but you get the point. So yeah, now here's a Ryu Jinx guide on how to play Super Mario Odyssey. Let's get right into it. Now I did forget to show you guys one thing in my Pokemon guide that is very important, so I'll show you that in this guide instead. Now as always, you need the Ryu Jinx emulator, the prod and title keys, the firmware, and the game itself, of course. And if you have DLCs, obviously, that too. Now, if you need help with getting the Ryujinx emulator or any of these, check the description and join my Discord server linked down below. All right, so the first thing you do is open Ryujinx emulator with the Ryujinx EXE. It will tell you keys not found. Don't worry, press OK. Close Ryujinx. In here, type percentage app data percentage, press enter, find the Ryujinx folder, go into system, and in here you want to paste the prod and title keys, just like that. Now after we've done this, we can go back to the Ryujinx emulator and open it again. Now the error is gone, so the next thing we want to do is install the firmware. Now you do that by going to tools, install firmware, install a firmware from XCI or zip. In our case, it's going to be a zip file. Now, in my case, it's firmware 18.0.0. Click it and press open. It will ask you install firmware 18.0.0. System version 18 will be installed. Do you want to continue? We press yes. It will tell you it has successfully installed it. Press OK. And now, obviously, we want our games to show up. So we go to options and settings. Now under game directories, press add, and here you can add your game's folder, not the game itself. If the game is a .zip or .rar, make sure to unzip it first with a program like WinRAR or 7-zip. Anyways, this is for the folder, so select folder and press apply and your games will show up as you can see. But there's some more important settings, so please pay attention, I'll try to go fast. Now under input, this is very important. Make sure your controller is connected if you're using one. Press refresh to make sure an input device check your controller. Now this should technically be enough. Now make sure to click apply. And if you change anything, make sure to hit save and name your profile. Now I like to use the pro controller. Now we're going to system and in here, you can change your region, time and other stuff. Make sure VSync is checked and check ignore missing services. This can prevent boot problems, stuff like that. If you're actually having issues, you might want to uncheck this. Next, we're going to CPU. Make sure this is checked and make sure it says host unchecked, which is the fastest. If you're having issues, you might want to check host. Now under graphics, and this is very important, if you have a good graphics card like me, you want to make sure your integrated graphics are not selected. Make sure your good graphics card is selected and use Vulkan. The performance is way better. If you have a new Intel HD or integrated graphics and Vulkan is not going to cut it for you, which is likely, try OpenGL. Now make sure shader cache is enabled and I'm going to run it at 2x. If you're having FPS issues, run it at native aka 1x. Now because I won't have any FPS issues, I'm going to just go for SMAA Ultra on the anti-aliasing. Scaling filter, I'm going to go nearest for nearest neighbor. The anisotropic filtering, I'm going to go 16x. And the graphics backend multi-threading, I'm going to keep on auto. For my graphics card, I can put it on on, but I like to play it safe, so I'm keeping it on auto. Now for audio, here you can change the backend. I'm not going to touch that. I am going to touch the volume, however, by putting it in half. And for network, this is for multiplayer. I have made a guide. The link should be down below. Now for logging, if you have any issues, turn this back on. But for the best performance, you want to turn all of this off. Now, after all of this, press apply and OK. Now, you'd think we're done here, but we're not. There's one thing I forgot to show you in the last guide that is very important. Once you have your game, you want to right click it and go manage title updates because by default it doesn't select the update so click on it so it has this blue tick on the left and press save and now it went from 1.0 to 1.3.0 now i didn't show that in my previous guide so you will have seen that i'm still on 1.0 
but now, as you can see, I'll be at 1.3.2 as intended. And the same goes for DLCs, by the way. If you have any DLCs, doesn't matter for what game, right click on Manage DLCs and click on them here. As an example, here are the DLCs. And make sure they are checked with the blue icon. That's the thing I forgot to show you in the last guide, I'm sorry, but here it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like and comment down below if this worked for you. If you have any questions, please join the Discord server. And yeah, that's all from me guys. Thank you for watching and peace out. Peace.